We want to place a cuff on the forelimb or on the tail. These clips will show placement on a front leg and the cuff width should be between 30 and 40% of the limb circumference. So it's useful to measure the cat's limb to make sure that the cuff that you are using has an appropriate width. The cuff should fit comfortably but not be painful. We're then going to place some ultrasound gel over the common digital artery and also directly onto the probe of our Doppler blood pressure machine and using just very gentle pressure, listen for a pulse signal. Once we have a very good clear pulse signal, we can inflate the cuff and I suggest that you do this nice and gently in, st in a stepwise fashion and all the time look at that pressure gauge and look at the point at which you can no longer hear that pulse signal. If you inflate a little bit above that point and then slowly start to deflate that cuff all the time looking at your pressure gauge, listen very carefully for the point where the pulse is first clearly audible and that is your systolic blood pressure reading. Deflate the cuff completely and repeat that procedure so that you collect three to five readings which are all similar and then you can calculate the average systolic blood pressure reading for that cat. And a typical reference range for systolic blood pressure readings in the clinic are between 120 and 150 millimetres of mercury.